Libra. As I zoom in a little bit, I had to rock my Libra necklace. Well, one of my Libra necklaces today. I got this last year. Um, it's almost our season, but I'm appreciating Virgo season. And shout out to any Virgos out there or those with Virgo in their chart. I have a little bit of Virgo in mine. So anyways... Libra, this will be your angel reading. I have not done one in a few weeks, so I will be turning out the lights. And we have my little um, light right here and the candle going. We're going to call in the angels using the drum. But first, let me just talk about the bottom of the deck cards. And then I'm going to shuffle everything in front of you and we'll pull cards together. Starting with the Angel Tarot, we have Ariel here. Ariel is the Knight of Cups. It says perception and revelation, discovers hidden treasure, reveals secrets of nature. Ariel in the house. We also have the crystal cards, Goddess Kali and Black Obsidian. So you already know I had to get out my piece of Black Obsidian to go right along with the card there. Yes. So this is all about a sacred Revolution. Beautiful card. Callie plays no games. With the Angelic Oracle, I would like to say, bless you. Thank you so much for everyone that took time out to pray for my brother and his healing. I would like to say, I was thanking God all day. I was thanking God all throughout the day and um, and I was thanking you all, you know, after going through all the comments of how many prayers, I was overwhelmed with gratefulness and appreciation and love. Thank you truly, Libra Land, from the bottom of my heart, okay? Bottom of my heart and my heart chakra. Thank you for the prayers because they work. And guess what? I shuffled the deck a few times and these three angels appeared at the bottom, right? So I look up card 21 and it says, this card contains not one, but three angels. They dance around a flame, which is the light of our prayers in their favor. The way we pray by singing, reciting, or whispering is not important. The important thing is that we pray. Ooh, I have chills, I have chills. In this way, the angels of prayer will know that we want them by our side and their assistance will grow three Fold. Wow. I still have chills. I'm just amazed. Thank you, angels. And we'll end the reading off with a Beyond Lumeria card. And we have this beautiful card, the Violet Flame. The Violet Flame, Libra. Violet, I think, is the color of the third eye chakra and then ultraviolet which is like almost that super bright white ultraviolet flame is the crown chakra but that's just me okay pause while I turn out the lights and we call in the angels with the drum How beautiful is this Libra? How beautiful is that mood lighting? I love it. So 
Here we go. The routine, I will count back from three to one. When I get to one, I would like you to breathe in your nose, deep breath in your nose, exhale out of your mouth, okay? You can do this, these deep breaths up to three times, ideally, in your own divine timing, okay? Whatever suits your body. But as soon as I get to one, let's go. Three, two, one. with a little bit of Palo Santo. Palo. Because I was out and about a lot today and around a lot of people. So I need to also cleanse my energy really quick. And I'll cleanse yours as well and our cards and space. Real quick, real, real quick. smells so good. Thank you for cleansing off any evil eye or any negative energy, any evil entities from around me, from around my surroundings, from around labor land. Thank you angels for being present for this reading for Libra. Amen. So it is. Beautiful Libra. We're ready. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle and pull one card from each deck and then I'll turn the lights back on so you guys can see the cards. I really like the energy that has been set, the intention that has been set for this reading. Very beautiful. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for blocking out any negative energy, any evil energy, any evil eyes. Thank you. Okay, I think they're ready. I'm going to cut it three times. This is the tarot. We have the Knight of Wands at the bottom. This speaks of protection. Saves exiles as well. I just heard a, a second chance in my mind. One card, please. We got our card. Wow. Okay. Really? This is going to be our one card? With the seven of wands at the bottom to clarify? Okay. I told you I'm going to show you guys the cards and tell you guys the cards when I turn the lights back on. All right, let's get our crystal oracle card. I can't believe what just came out. Like, really? Really? 
it could also mean that um, I need to do a reading because there's some passed over people and loved ones that want to communicate because that angel tarot card, tarot card specifically talks about communication with the dead. What is the crystal? Crystal Oracle Mandala for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Just one card, please. Going. Passion of the Lion Heart, Goddess Sekhmet, and Fire Agate. Ooh, what is happening with all this red and fiery? Okay. The tone is being set in the cards. Bottom of the deck, Ascended Master Buddha and Parado or Peridot crystal wild compassion okay. now our angelic oracle card okay what is the angel message thank you spirit thank you angels for libra Whoa, okay. Let me see. Okay, you know how they say, ain't no way. Ain't no effing way. What? Wait till you guys see what just flew to the floor. There's someone dark or dabbling in the demonic dark arts, for real, for real. And they are falling and they're falling like hard. You won't believe what just came out twice, Libra. This is a whole message. Okay, moving on to the Lemuria card. And then let me turn on the light and reveal to you guys what is happening uh, I, I yeah we're we're gonna be clarifying because i need to know more star seed elemental i just saw at the bottom this is a message definitely for the star seeds Thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming through and protecting again. Sticking with us, always, day and night, keeping us safe. Most powerful warrior angel. The one that wasn't afraid to kick somebody out of heaven. And that somebody is here, Libra. Twice. Now you guys know who I'm talking about, right? What is the Lumeria card, please, for Libra? Okay. 
Ooh, we've never gotten this card before. Dope. Crystal Keys. Crystal Keys. With Home and Radical Expansion. <gasps> Ooh, for some of you, you're going to be getting a radical expansion in the home sector. Beautiful. All right, let's turn on the lights. All right, Libra. The devil card came out first, okay? Samuel, the devil. It says seduction and downfall. Well, look at the angelic card that came out. The devil falling down. <laughs> mm. The devil, seduction and downfall, but communicates with the dead, teaches the occult and magic. Number 15. Lucifer, who is this angel who is falling headlong? Lucifer, who believed he was more beautiful than God. No matter what name we give to him, what is important is to understand his message. With his headlong and relentless fall, he shows us the consequences of pride. Anyone who defies the laws or boasts about his own merits and does not accept the limits of human nature or anyone who feels superior to others is bound sooner or later to pay the price and be cast down by fate. This is the angel of pride. They have a purple robe, red plus blue, because his influence has an effect on our actions and in our thoughts. Okay. Beautiful card. Goddess Sekme. Segment, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and Fire a Gate, Passion of the Lion Heart, 888, number We bring you the empowerment of passion of the lion heart. Through passion, you will dedicate yourself with an intensity and discipline that may surprise you. Passion is love activated. It is energy that moves you from within and empowers you to act in this world in ways that you would not otherwise dare to even consider. Passion gives you strength, plugs you into the eternal energy of sacred fire, and generates the ability to accomplish tasks you once may not, not have believed possible. With great passion, there can be great pain. The heart that loves wild and open is also the heart that can feel disappointment and doubt most keenly. The empowerment of the lion heart strengthens your heart to recover from any pain through having the power of courage, 
commitment, and bold, loving devotion to what matters most to you. If your heart is tired, broken, overwhelmed, despairing, doubting, or suffering from compassion fatigue, where you know you still care, but you can't summon the energy to feel anything in that moment, this oracle brings you comfort. It's time to rest, heal, and replenish. Your passion has not faded. But you must give yourself the time you need to recover from your remarkable exertions. Allow your passion to motivate you, not burn you out. Take the time you need. Allow the divine to heal you and know your shining light heart, lion heart, shall burn bright with energy again soon. This oracle also brings you comfort if you feel you are lacking in courage, passion, or emotional motivation, and perhaps suffering not only from fatigue, but apathy, depression, or despair. You are going to overcome anything and everything that stands in the way of your loving heart, burning bright with sacred fire. The fierce face of the Divine Mother is upon your precious heart and she will intervene on your behalf. Do not doubt the extent and power of her love for you. Nothing can overcome it. She always wins. Woo! Empower her to help you with the following healing process. Say aloud, I choose of my own free will through this and any lifetime and through all layers of my entire being to release pain from my heart. All fatigue, doubt, despair, disappointment, and any other memory or associated belief system that would obstruct the expression of my passion in the world in service to the divine plan of, of love unfolding. Through divine empowerment and unconditional love, so be it. Trust your passion and your heart. Believe in what moves you most. The desires in your heart are there by divine design. They are as they are meant to be. You are here to further your journey of trusting in your heart. Whether that means you have been a raging divine lion for many years, or you are just starting to wonder if you can turn your quiet truth into a mighty roar. You are being invited to go deeper into the passion of your heart and live your divine purpose with courage and conviction. Big message, Libra. These devils can't bring you down. This, these devil energies <clears throat> don't hold a, a shot, a chance. I heard not, not a shot in the dark. We have seven of wands. At the bottom, this is liberation and deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. The seven of wands at the bottom to clarify the devil. You will be receiving deliverance from your enemies who are both visible and invisible, Libra. Yes, I, I claim that. Um, why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? The king of pentacles. Obedience causes harmony and peace, can calm anger in anyone.
with the seven of pentacles at the bottom, discernment, general prosperity, the deliverance of prisoners. To be honest, this king of pentacles is coming through as an angel that has went to bat for you. They've battled for you. You see their sword, their shield. They cause harmony and peace, though. It's like you give your battles to your angels and they take care of it. They also calm anger. People maybe thought they could come for you or something and the angels have come through like, no, I think that's not the best idea to come for Libra, have discernment, okay, seven of pentacles, general prosperity. Okay, and let's read crystal keys. Libra, crystal keys says hidden wisdom codes, potent information. We just had in a reading last week about potent magic. Now we have potent information coming in. Lumerian seed crystals, and I just heard Lumerian star seeds, seeing your triggers as a gift, awareness of drama creating patterns, healing the earth by looking at your inner environment and healing through awareness. Be inspired to find the wisdom hidden in those times when you feel triggered. There is so much information within our raw and intense reactions that when you choose to be present with what is coming up and peel back the layers, great spiritual insight will unveil itself in a way tailored just for you. If we could all learn to see our triggers in the bigger picture, so much confrontation and upset would be lessened, power struggles and fear would diminish, and we would see greater compassion across the planet. Perspective and misunderstanding would shift and the way people want to be loved would be experienced without distortion. There, these are the seeds for peace on earth. Libra. I hope you found messages in this reading. These devils cannot get you down. They are going down. Have discernment. Sorry about the background noise. I'm running out of time. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. Don't know if I already said that. I love you guys so much. Thank you again for your prayers. Truly. Chat soon. Read you later. Peace, Libra.